All right, hey guys, uh, just want to give you an update on where we're at on the uh, plasma cutter with the torch height control. I, uh, I was having some problems with the uh, uh, pilot arc that being high frequency causing the data communications to drop out on my serial bus for my, uh, through light burn on the computer. Uh, and after a bunch of reading, I realized that the best way to deal with that, I tried shielding, I tried a bunch of stuff, um, is to just go to a blowback system and eliminate the high frequency. Um, the shielding worked, but anytime I got the, the cutting head closer to the computer, it seemed to have more problems. So what I did is I bought a, uh, this guy right here, a cut 55, I think it is, DS Pro um, from Yes Welders. And it is a 55 amp um, blowback pilot arc torch. And uh, it came with this handle set. But as you can see, for some reason, there's nothing in it. Well, I wonder why that is. Well, that's because I went ahead and I uh, spent some time in CAD last night. And I 3D printed a new torch hood holder that uh, by just taking the tubing that went out on the 90 degree end and I just spun it around I made it virtually straight and then with a little extra design work I made a chamber inside this round tube that's bolted together and it actually holds the whole plasma torch so uh, all the guts from inside this guy are now inside this guy and I just added it instead of the trigger down here which would interrupt the uh, or open up the circuit to uh or I should say uh to allow it to uh, fire the uh, closes the circuit I'm sorry um, then the arc can start and so forth but anyway the uh, it uh, didn't take me too long to get that designed and then I just reworked the uh, the same torch head or, or bracket that I hold the other model with and fabricated it to hold the two sensors uh, and again I'm, I'm planning on I'm working on the video be please be patient I've got the new uh, or I've got drawings that I'm putting together in a materials list. So if anybody's interested in replicating what I've done here, uh, they can certainly do that. And uh, I'll give full description of how I have the four channel relay box uh, built in here. And of course this is 3D printed as well, uh, but that's where the 12 volts AC and the 12 volts DC come into a four channel relay box uh, that takes the triggered inputs off of the 12 volts and uh, tells the stepper motor uh, how to move up and down. So anyway, I'll get into full description on how all that works once I get this guy all set up and I get the next video going. So till then, I'll see you soon. Thanks.